Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of the Microsoft LiveCam HD 3000. It's um, yeah, it's a pretty cheap camera. It's probably not the latest model. I don't know how long it's on the market, but uh, it has a little bit come down in price from forty dollars to. $23 which is pretty good and when you see the price um, yeah it was uh, also recently still 29 has come down 24 and now it's $23 that's pretty good price compared to other devices um, yeah I was looking for something to make to be able the, to make KYC uh, know your customer with um, like for ICOs and um, airdrops. So I needed something with a little bit better quality. The old one was not still not uh, definitely not good enough. So this had really good reviews. When you look into that, it has really really good reviews. Uh, I was going down already to the review section. Um, yeah, I'm just holding the camera. It's a little bit silly, but don't have to cut so much. Um, here down we have the reviews. And there have been really a lot of them. Not many people. Just 6% have one star rating. That's pretty low. With other cameras you have much more one, one and two star ratings. That's a pretty good thing. And 1,000 more than 1000 people have bought this that's pretty impressive i i don't like this style too much i mean when you see there are more uh, fancier models around uh, but a lot of them have bad reviews a lot of bad reviews not all of them but some have and especially one guy he was telling uh, that yeah this has uh, really good quality much better than uh, other uh, models um, like the other thing was a Logitech I think and then he was recommending the Microsoft Live cam I mean already Logitech has a really good pr reputation and which is usually much better than cheap Chinese models uh, who just Build uh, with very cheap sensors and cheap uh, lenses. So yeah, I'm un doing the unboxing and I'm added adding also uh, some pictures at least, maybe even some live video uh, or live uh, sample in this video. So I still decided to go uh, to Google Trends for a quick. Uh, review about interest into this camera and you see it started in May 2017 I don't know when it, they started selling maybe there was a pre-announcement and you see the interest into this camera is really stable so it seems it's not like a very old outdated model or they have just lowered the price and so it's still really attractive so when we see where it's sold uh, yeah that's more in Western sphere like US Canada Europe Russia and uh, Australia <clears throat> looks like it's not sold in Asia or they are using another model I don't know why so here we have the box it's not a really big box but uh, yeah it's small camera so i'm like always i'm showing the box even when people some people are complaining uh yeah it's a box i can see i can watch the box on my own yeah but uh i mean it's sometimes hard to get really pictures of the information on the side if there is here it's not uh, in, or in the back uh sometimes it's not being shown on Amazon or other uh, sites and some people are looking for information about that. 
can't find it on can't yeah can't find it online and so maybe it could help if you don't need it just fast forward to the part uh, after that so it says uh, 720 uh, HD video chat and video recording with Skype um, what do we have here Skype for business true color some kind of information serial number and in the back we have hope I can show you with a little bit better quality so we have USB 2.0 Windows 10 and 8 100 megabytes of storage probably needed for um, setup if you want to set up probably you can use it without setup and it has a speaker I don't know why it's not focusing better I'm trying to use the other camera maybe it's better with this one Windows compatible speaker or headphones yeah whatever warranty here's some information I ho was hoping for a little bit more information about the real lens quality how many megapixel there are but it looks like it's not available I think it was something like 3 megapixel but we'll see so let's refocus put it down again and open the box if we can oops what's that special thing I'm a little bit lost ah here yeah obviously I have to cut and here it is oh it's quite small yeah it is really really small but uh, I mean I don't mind so it doesn't have to be big to be good it's 2018 so but it's really I don't want to kill the whole packaging in case I have to return otherwise I would yeah I would pull more yeah I have to stop that for a while hold on so I had to pull the thing uh, yeah from the side like here I think it was like this so I had to pull on the side and then you can open the whole packaging so there's a pretty long standard USB cable that's good uh, I mean not extremely long but it's long enough I think not much valuable information here no doesn't look like so yeah it looks like this nothing special there's no protection in the front which is good or bad of course there's less mirroring or yeah less reflection but you can uh, yeah I mean when you touch it I mean you don't have to touch it but when there are children around could be that somebody touches that and then it's pretty hard to clean after that definitely you will have a hard time to clean something like that in the back of this thing because it's super small maybe with a cotton tab yeah I hope you can see that a little bit so it's really small this thing <laughs> in the back I've uh, oh, never seen that, uh, that it something like this doesn't come with any kind of protection so this thing here is super soft oh, you can really bend it that's cool so you can easily bend it and use it on top of your screen 
and then put it down like this and and then holy moly yeah maybe they think uh, will you, you use it like this so okay I uh, hope you can see that let's say that's your screen oh, it's a little bit too wide usually screens are not so wide I have to find something smaller let's take the remote control here so let's pretend that's our screen so we put it here and we just hang it oh probably it's a little bit wider so maybe like this and so we can put it here and when we bend it a little bit yeah then it's pretty stable a little bit more depending on the uh diameter or depending on the thickness of the screen so this looks yeah almost some kind of yeah like top of the screen or put it for the other side you can see it better so that's pretty pretty good so yeah probably this this should be the front yeah front is usually more edged so that's pretty stable so yeah um stability should be okay uh it doesn't uh yeah here probably we have the microphone but it doesn't have any kind of protection so yeah some cameras these day they have like a switch like a hardware protection where you can switch something left and right to cover the lens if you don't need it because you never know when uh, some uh, trojan or whatever um access is uh, is accessing your camera but what i can recommend of course there's a switch they are sold on um, amazon and on yeah wish or whatever um i can put down the link below so that these are usb hubs uh, which you can attach to your computer and then you can turn on and off all the equipment uh, with, with just a click based on the needs so these equipment uh, are not running all the time and consuming power and people can access the camera so you can turn it off all the time when you need the camera turn it on then turn it off again so that's a pretty good thing so I'll put down the link and you can uh yeah you can order that too if you like so i'm thinking yeah that's it regarding the unboxing now there is let's check what's here there's a small instruction yeah okay that's pretty easy so you can put it on a table that's cool or in the back of the screen yeah definitely that, that's the thing i wanted to show or i was showing you yeah put it flat on the desk that's also good you can uh, okay you can uh yeah that's good so i hope you can see that so you can um yeah change the angle not not 360 degrees or so like with other cameras but a little bit you can do not up and down to up go up and down you can only bend this thing but you can switch the angle you can adjust the angle a little bit okay so that's the thing here and probably the rest is not really super interesting at least there is no cd-rom which yeah you don't really need product guide so i think we don't have to go through this Thing. there's nothing really interesting here limited warranty same thing not much of interest uh, you probably can register the product maybe you get a little bit more warranty I've seen last couple of products I've bought I've seen in the thing which is attached or which was included in the box uh, there are often 
some things where they say when you register within like 30 days or 60 days you get additional warranty like with the last computer i bought so sometimes it, it's still interesting or it's worth to read this thing even when i usually don't do that so i'm trying now to install and connect and then i will show you some video or pictures or whatever let's see okay so i have now installed the camera and it was really super easy i didn't have to do anything actually so here down on the right corner after about five to ten seconds there was uh yeah uh, like information that it uh, should be ready now so what i did i uh, i'm using now the i'm recording the screen and i'm using the camera of the webcam the bad thing is only that the uh, the laptop it is uh, producing a pretty uh, loud noise the fan i'm struggling with the fan probably there's a hardware error and if you hear some strange sound in the back that's coming from the fan from the laptop i put the camera a little bit away then after that but you have still an impression how it should be so um yeah the sound clarity or something like that so the good thing which what i heard about this camera it should be out of focus it a lot of cameras especially cheap cameras they don't have autofocus and so you have always uh, it, 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 yeah it can really affect the um, quality of the picture when you don't have a good focus so we're trying to get closer a little bit uh, pulling away that's still good uh, definitely when I get closer yeah you can't go too close but it looks doesn't look too bad so i'm going to the side i'm trying to focus here something like the texture of the wall so yeah i'm trying here or here maybe yeah that's it now one foot away that's pretty good when you go closer to maybe two inches then it's too close yeah, I'm about two inches away. That's too close. I'm uh, let's say ten inches. That's about ten inches. It's not bad. It's not perfect. Is it really out of focus? I'm not one hundred percent sure. I don't see any reaction. Usually, when it's out of focus, you see that it's trying to refocus. I don't see that here so i'm not sure i'm not fully convinced about being out of focus so but um yeah apart from that i'm moving away hold on a second yeah what i can do is i have put it now down to the area where i did the unboxing but i'm now in the back of the camera so probably uh, it's a little bit the sound level is probably a little bit low i think so but i'm just trying yeah all right i'll bring it back it's really a little bit difficult at the moment to find a good spot so i'm now about two feet away in the back of the camera i hope you can still hear me um yeah i can make uh, uh a little bit further away let's say maybe like this okay i hope it's not falling down trying to make a picture So what's um, interesting for you maybe all as well is the uh, yeah, location of the picture 
I mean, yeah, depending on my, on the software, of course, I'm sure I'm probably gonna have to show you how I was installing the software. Uh, since there is no software, I just clicked on the window button and started typing webcam. So there was a uh, software, an app in the trusted Microsoft store. I probably it's from Microsoft. So I double clicked it, installed it. And so that's the, um, yeah, that's this thing here. That's the camera where you have a few settings and yeah, that was not it. So I have now, where do I have the camera? I don't know. I just do the same uh, webcam. I click on, yeah, probably I can pin it to the uh, taskbar as well. So I have it always. Uh, here so I can double click and it opens the camera and I can yeah adjust settings maybe I can use higher no that's the highest thing for photos I ah, here you can see that's probably then the highest resolution for photos 0 0.9 megapixel it's not too good I expected maybe some 3 megapixels or it has to do with the software, I don't know, video recording, you, it goes up to 720, I'll see how, if this really works for KYC, I'm not 100% sure, but of course it doesn't have always to do with the resolution, the quality is, makes a lot, I mean, uh, the quality of the, of the lens and sensor and everything, I mean, resolution is not everything definitely so i'll open that again so i hope yeah that works uh yeah i opened the picture unfortunately i don't have any picture software so i just use was using the paint to open and uh, yeah here it doesn't look too impressive i can zoom in a little bit uh it's difficult with the paint so yeah doesn't look too impressive but some people obviously were really uh, convinced about that I mean obviously yeah for sure there are worse things around uh, definitely no doubt here again showing you the keyboard uh, yeah what do we have the mouse it's pretty bright I don't know when I turn off the light how it will be it's a little bit darker now not totally dark but yeah that's good so far don't see any problems so let's go down again to this area there's not much light but it's still a good picture so that looks not too bad actually um, yeah I'm here at the <laughs> loudest point so that's not uh, doesn't make any sense so it's uh, right in front of me I'm really close I, I, I go a little bit closer with uh, to the camera I'm, I'm about two inches away now I'm about one foot away this is what you can expect regarding the sound level so when i see the side it looks quite good but when you when you go closer then it's not uh perfect yeah and you can switch from camera mode to video mode and then you can obviously record that video yeah okay um i think that's it for now i will um try the kyc and look if it really works with the, my old camera it was a uh, logitech i think no it was the uh it was microsoft uh xbox 360 camera which i was using before and that uh, 90 percent of the kycs it was working but some it really rejected so i hope uh, it will work with this camera. So yeah, that's it for now. I hope I was able to help you 
little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time